Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Panini Immaculate Baseball. Eight box, pick a team number five. Um, this is my first uh, rip of this. This is my first live look at this, so I'm excited. Big thanks to this group right here. I hope you're excited as well, this group. Brett ended up with last spot mojo before we pulled the teams, the remaining teams out for a big random number block randomizer. Do we have another case of this in the store? I think so. Yeah, pick your team six is at 17 teams left. Don't sleep on this immaculate baseball, ladies and gentlemen. Get your teams going before it ends up into a, uh, into a number block like this. So it's in a different video. It's a serial number break only applying to those teams right there. And only for that break. So I'll keep that to my left side right there. And there it is, 2022 immaculate baseball. So we break five. So we, how were the first four cases, ladies and gentlemen? How'd that look? Also, RIP to uh, to Dodger legend Maury Wills passed away today. Pretty old, led a full life. He's a constant presence at the, on the uh, as a bench coach, as a base coach, in spring training. Vince Scully would often tell a story, and R.I.P. Vince Scully too. Man, what a what a sad year for the Dodgers' oldsters. Um, Vince Scully would always tell stories about how, back in the day in the '60s, if you were in, uh, you know, if you were in like downtown L.A., which I think is pretty sleepy on a on a Sunday, on like a Sunday afternoon, you know, if you're in downtown L.A. on a Sunday afternoon, and if Maury Wills was on base that you just might hear the, the 50,000 plus people at Dodger Stadium, you know, chanting Maury's name, chanting, go, 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 encouraging him to steal, which would be kind of cool. I guess noise pollution, they have noise pollution back then, it wasn't, it wasn't too much noise, right? Yeah, Maury Wills was uh, was he a World Series MVP? He was a, he was an actual league MVP in 1962. He did win three World Series in that 1962. He beat out um, uh, Willie Mays and Tommy Davis, who also had a great season that day. But he uh, he built uh, he beat Willie Mays. And apparently later in, later in life, Willie Mays would always tell Maury Wills, hey, you robbed me of an MVP. And he also won 1962 All-Star MVP. What a year. 14 out of 49, Tim Anderson. Yeah, Maury Wills finished with a lifetime 281. Had uh, 21, a little over 21 hits. No pop. Only 20 homers, but had 586 stolen bases. His MVP year had 104. Hit 94 stolen bases a few years later as well, but just a constant base threat. Base stealing threat. Wade Boggs, 41 out of 49. Yeah, he went from 59 to 72. All with the dot. No, we a couple seasons with the Pirates and Montreal in between, but ended. Spent the last four years of his career with uh, with the Los Angeles Dodgers. I think he's often credited, you know, along with probably Lou Brock, similar era, often credited with uh, kind of reviving the stolen base. Yeah, weaponizing the stolen base. It's Wade Box of forty-one out of forty-nine. That goes to John and the Red Sox. There's Tyler Freeman. Jersey and autograph, 15 out of 49. Cleveland, this is for you. Goes to Ben. Yeah, I, Oliver, I saw a little interview. A little uh, interview clip of Maury Wills. And he was saying, yeah, back in the day, it used to be Maury Wills, he'll get on base, right? And then next guy would bunt him over. 
Like that was that was baseball. Here's Yohan Aiden. Yohan Aiden, 51 out of 99 jersey and autograph. Nice little RPA for the Nats. Nats are a number block team. And Maury Wills would say, "Hey, why are we why are we wasting that that at bat with a uh, with a bunt, a sack bunt? I'll just steal that base." So they did. Uh, so if we go by that digit right there. So that is. Uh, Washington won. Nationals one is going to be Brian Crouch. Got a redemption. And it's rookie patch autographs, Edward Cabrera. Who is a pitcher for the Marlins? Yeah, Marlins. And the Marlins are a number block team, so that goes to zero. Miami Zero will be for Steve Birch. And Blake Snell, 14 out of 25 for the Friars. Padres also a number block team, so that'll go to Padres 4. A lot of number block teams here. San Diego four, four Steve Birch. I kind of like the like that little design on this immaculate box this year. It's pretty sharp. All right, next box. You know what I didn't realize about Maury Wills is uh, is that he had a short stint as as the manager of the uh, Mariners, which was a short-lived run. I think he was only there for a couple seasons, from 1980 and 81, and apparently he was just terrible. <laughs> I think he just made a number of gaffes. He called for a relief pitcher when there was nobody warming up in the bullpen, holding the game up for 10 minutes. You know, the, in 1981, he ordered the Mariners' grounds crew to make the batter's boxes one foot longer than regulation, the extra foot being in the direction of the mound. A's manager Billy Martin noticed, and then that, that was the suspension. And it's not, 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 not very good. Glenn Otto. 11 out of 99. I think Maury Wills struggled with, uh, with cocaine and alcohol. I suppose not, not too surprising in the 70s and 80s, but, but uh, yeah, I think he struggled with that before, before we get coming clean. 11 out of 25, Leo DeRocher for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Uh, Rangers are uh, Curtis Erickson, picked up the Rangers straight up. So you'll get that... Uh, Glen Auto Relic. The Dodgers are a number block team, so that'll go to Dodgers 1. That'll be for Brian Crouch. Luis Frias for the Snake, 79 out of 99. Nico. I feel like we have a number of Nikos here. This one's Nico B. I think we have a Nico M. Nico B, maybe another Nico. We have a Nico M and a Nico B. Oh, I think those are it for our Nicos. We got Andy Pagas. Nice. 81 out of 99. It's a nice little uh, up-and-coming prospect for the Dodgers. And their rich farm system. 81 out of 99. Dodgers won. That'll be for Brian Crouch. Got a Josiah Gray, former Dodger. Two out of ten, jersey and autograph. Silver ink on the eye black. I wish they'd, they would do that a little more. That's pretty much a, a replacement for the sticker auto. Right? Instead of just a, it's just a sticker, you get that. Uh, Nationals, that'll be for Nats 2. C. Birch, Nationals 2. And we got Jose Altuve, four out of five. That's a train whistle for Nathan. 
and the Strohs. Get this into the penny sleeve here. All aboard the Big Head Express. Whoop, whoop. All right, box two. Next box. Uh, Maury Wills, little, some tax issues in the early 60s, it was, uh, in 1969, he was in an episode of the television series Get Smart, season 5, episode 10, his 1962 autobiography, he discussed his love affair with actress Doris Day. I think she was in a, was she in a... In a movie with Cary Grant, maybe, and she's saying K sera sera at the end. Yeah, the man who knew too much, Jimmy, with Jimmy Stewart, which won an Academy Award for best song. So discussed his love affair with Doris Day. That, that would that would have been a that would have been a cause for some drama in the early '60s, uh, but she denied this in her 1976 autobiography. Doris, we'll never know. He said, she said. 33 out of 99, Greg Dietman. Rex, we're talking about the life of Maury Wills, not the top five farm systems. Come on. Here's Greg Dietman for the Cubs. Jeremy with the Cubs. Got the Cubs straight up. We got Maglio. Remember Maglio Ordonez? 79 out of 90, 73 out of 99. Will, Wills, Maury Wills abused cocaine and alcohol until getting sober in 1989. Wow. He wrote in his autobiography, in the three and a half years, I spent more than $1 million of my own money on cocaine. Uh, Maglio Donas Tigers number block. That goes to Detroit 3. That'll be for Steve Birch. Riley Adams, 38 out of 49 for Washington. Washington, 8. That'll be for Steve Birch and the Nationals. We got a Brent Honeywell, 5 out of 6, just one away from a train whistle. That's for Oakland. That's for Eric Leal, who got the A's straight up. Andre Jackson. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. 73 out of 94, Andre Jackson. Dodgers are a number block team. Los Angeles Dodgers, three. Steve Birch. And then Cal Raleigh, three out of 10. He's having a nice little season. Mariners are having a nice season. Is this going to fit into a 180 top loader? I don't think so, gang. This is slider box territory here. Oh, no, actually, this is kind of a perfect fit. Oh, it did work. Nice. Nice and secure in there. That's for the M's. Mariners are a number block team. Mariners three. Steve Birch. That's right, Andre 3000. That works. Maury Wills, father, baseball player. Former major leaguer Bump Wills, who played for the Rangers and Rex's Cubs. Due to a salacious anecdote, anecdote in the Elder Wills' autobiography, which is, uh, not, which is not mentioned in this family-friendly Wikipedia article, the two had a falling out, but as of 2004 would occasionally speak. So he got clean in the in the late '80s thanks to new girlfriend Angela George, who encouraged him to begin a begin a uh, vitamin therapy program. Two later married. 
2009, Wills was honored by Washington DCs from DC and uh, Cardoza Senior High School with the renaming of the former uh, recreation field as Maury Wills Field. Nice. It's their home diamond. And there's a Maury Wills Museum in Fargo, North Dakota. Apparently. Opened in 2001, closed in 2017 when he retired. Maury Wills died in his home, Sedona, Arizona, today. Although Wikipedia says yesterday. Maybe it was only announced today. Oh, probably announced today. But passed away yesterday, September 19, 2022, at the age of 89. Announced, I think, today on the 20th here, 2022. There's Brandon Marsh for the Angels. Uh, Sean Healy picked up the Angels straight up. Nice little color in there. Edward Cabrera, there he is. Two out of 49 for the Fish. This goes to Steve Birch and Miami 2. Apparently he had a music career, Maury Wills. There's a music career section in his Wikipedia. Here's Eli Morgan, 4 out of 10 for the Cleveland Guardians. Ben, Cleveland, this is for you. Yeah, I heard, I, I was reminded of that story earlier today too. In the All-Star Game, where was that All-Star Game in 1962? Do you, do you know that offhand? Um, but... This is an oldie but goodie. There's a good story on ESPN about how a security guard did not more believe Maury Wills was an all-star in 1962, so they wouldn't let him in the stadium. Uh, I think the claim was, you're way too small <laughs> to be a baseball player. Oh, it was in D.C.? His hometown, nonetheless. Here's Stephen Kwan. He's having a great season. Uh, that's two out of seven. Nice. Cleveland, this is for you, Ben, with the Guardians. Yerman Mercedes, 23 out of 99. I want to say the story also goes, the, yeah, there you go. Yeah, Oliver saying still didn't believe him when he carried the trophy out. He thought he was holding it for someone else. And I guess the security guard didn't watch the game. 29 out of 99, I guess he was securing things. David with the White Sox gets the Yerman Mercedes. And we got, ooh. Three-color patch auto O'Neill Cruz, 8 out of 99. Nice on-card auto there as well. Logan Collister picked up the Pirates straight up and gets rewarded. A little wrinkly in the penny sleeve right here, but gets rewarded with the O'Neill Cruz RPA. That is nice. Now Logan, I think he went to bed already, and he before he he uh, before he uh, signed off here at Jaspies, he was like, "Listen, going to bed, going to sleep, pull me some heat." And I said, "Logan, I hope that you're gonna wake up and see a big pull." So there you go, Logan. Good morning. Congrats. That's right. Yeah, the story goes on. The Maury Will story goes on, where where the teammates didn't even vouch for it. As teammates like that are wont to do. Music career. Throughout most of his major league playing career, this I did not know, Will supplemented his salary in the offseason by performing extensively as a vocalist and instrumentalist. Banjo, guitar, ukulele, occasionally appearing on television and, uh, and frequently in nightclubs. Maybe this music industry connection is where that Doris Day connection comes in. He also cut at least two records during this period, one under his name, the other feature as, as feature vocalist with Lionel Hampton. For roughly two years, starting in October of 68, he was a co-owner, operator, feature performer of a nightclub. The nightclub, guess what Guess what the nightclub was called? The Stolen Bass. So it would be Maury Wills' Stolen Bass, located in Pittsburgh's Golden Triangles, offering a mix of banjos, draft beer, and baseball. I like the sound of that. Let's, let's, let's revive that. Here's Tristan McKenzie, another one for the Guardians. Ben, Cleveland, this is for you. Right on the button. Fernando Tatis Jr. 
11 out of 49 for the Padres. So that goes to Padres 1, Brian Crouch. That's my kind of bar. Banjos, beer, and baseball. Got one out of six, Connor Seabold. Bold. That goes to John and the Red Sox. Ooh. A redemption. Yaz. Mike. Mike Yastrzemski. Not the Yaz, but... But grandbaby as Mike Yastrzemski, Shadow Box Signatures, Hollow Silver, Hollow Silver, away! That is for the Giants, my rivals, a number block team. So that goes to Steve Birch, Giants zero. Maury Wills by no account, least of his own. Least of all his own. Wills was a consummate virtuoso, apparently. Good, not great, maybe, but good. Wrote Newsday Stan Isaacs, reviewing a, reviewing an album there. It's Jake McCarthy, nine out of ten. Nico, with the snakes. Nonetheless, level of proficiency attained on Wills's principal instrument was attested to on two separate occasions by the American Federation of Mu Musicians. So I guess guess you got got some membership there in LA local forty seven. I gotta check out some Maury Wills records. I'm gonna be here at eleven, but nothing is sold out, right? Mm mm. No. Yeah. Everything's first breaks are all kinda halfway there. Oh, from tonight? Yeah. Uh you know what? That top chrome jumbo. So there will be something to do. Two out of eight, Josh Young right on the button for the Rangers. Curtis picked up the Rangers straight up. All right, three boxes to go. You think Maury Wills is on Spotify? Oh, I guess Maury Wills was a coach of the uh, Fargo-Moorhead Red, Red Hawks, which attests to the little museum for him. Just one, I'm afraid, Sean. Just a Brandon Marsh relic. A few colors. It looked nice, but nothing huge just yet. But we still have three boxes to go, so good luck. We're just talking about, uh, during this break, also talking about the life of Maury Wills, who, who passed away today. Or yesterday, but I think it was announced today. There's Adam Frazier, 92 out of 99. I don't know if Maury Wills is on this checklist. That would be kind of cool. Um, this is for the Mariners. Mariners, a number block team, so that goes to Seattle 2. Steve Birch. We got Boggsy, 85 out of 99. Piece of his jersey going to John in the Red Sox. Oliver met Maury twice. Was always so accommodating. Nice. In what context? Like at, at a signing or just run into him somewhere? Ryan Vallad. It's a nice patch. One out of 99. Rockies. Kevin M. with the Rocks. These are cut right in between a 130 and a 180 top loader. Yeah, there you go, Kevin. On the board. You can put it on the board. We got uh, Immaculate Signatures Blue, C.J. Abrams for the Padres. That's another redemption for spot zero. Nice. So that's Steve Birch again with that redemption number, number zero. We got Sixo Sanchez. It's a nice one. 49 out of 49, two-color jersey, an autograph. 
Uh, the Marlins are a number block team, so that goes to Miami 9. Some of the higher numbers. Michael Osia. There you go, Michael. Kind of hard to see that number in the reflection there, but there it is. 49 out of 49. Michael with Miami 9. And here's an angel right on cue, Sean Healy. 10 out of 10. A little button and silver ink autograph on the eye black, which looks really cool. Uh, I got a no-hitter earlier this year, right? Is it the only no-hitter of the year? No, there had to be a couple more. Kind of stumbled a little bit after that, but kind of one of the, one of the brighter pitching youngsters for the Angels. All right, two boxes to go. Maury Wills uh, was born in uh, Washington, D.C., passed away in Sedona, Arizona, switch hitter, threw right, spent the majority of his career with the Dodgers, started his career with the Dodgers 59 to 66 with stops in uh, Pittsburgh, Montreal, and then back with the Dodgers from 69 to 72, longtime base coach for them as well, seven-time All-Star um, Three-time World Series champion, 59, 63, and 65, all with the Dodgers. An NL MVP in 1962. Two-time Gold Glover, six-time stolen base leader. There's Nick Madrigal, 16 out of 25. Jeremy Harder and the Cubs. Tommy Lasorda, RIP, 6 out of 49. Maury Will is joining Tommy Lasorda in Blue Heaven. And that is for number 6, Dodger 6, Steve Birch. Chaz McCormick, 71 out of 99. Chaz McCormick, that sounds like a guy that I'd meet at a, uh, that I'd run to at a country club in like New England. It's my West Coast stereotype there of New Englanders. This goes to Houston Nathan with the Strohs. There you go, Nathan. Bobby Bradley, 54 out of 99 for the Guardians. Ben got the Guardians straight up. Cleveland, this is for you. A couple more here. We got mm, Jake Berger, 50 out of 99. This delicious burger. Going to David and the White Sox. I was informed earlier, not good enough yet, to have his own signature burger at the stadium. Maybe someday. And Chris Bryant, red ink autograph, 14 out of 25 for the Rockies. That red ink matching the red foil. Is that intentional? I'm assuming yes. Kevin M, Rockies. Final box coming up. Good luck, everybody. It looks like uh, Maury Wills just missed uh, Hall of Fame, huh? In 2014, Wills appeared for the first time as a candidate on the Hall of Fame's Golden Era Committee ballot, which required 12 votes. He missed getting elected by a few votes. The, uh, I guess there was another committee in 2016. Also on the 2022 ballot, just did not quite receive enough votes by the, by the old committee to get in, but close. All of very good. All right. We got Brandon Nemo. Final box, 54 out of 99. Mets are a number block team, so that's... Mets four, and that's four, Steve Birch. Garrett Cole, 74 out of 99. Big comeback win for the Yankees today. Grand slam by John Carl Stanton. Aaron Judge hitting number 60. 74. That is four, Steve Birch. Got Luke Williams. Use the force, Luke. 
Nine out of 26, jersey and autograph. Phillies are a number block team, so that'll go to Philadelphia. Nine, Michael. Cade Cavalli, 17 out of 49. Nationals are a number block team. Nationals, seven. That will be for Ryan Stewart. Ryan on the board. Couple more here. We got a Jose Devers, 84 out of 99. Jersey and autograph for the Fish. That is going to be a number block team. So that'll go to Miami, four. And that is for Steve Birch. Four has hit a couple times already, a few times already. And last one here is Joey Bart. Six out of ten. That's a nice patch. And autograph. So future catching star for the uh, for the Giants. So Giants six. Steve Birch. Joey Bart's kind of had a little bit of a rough year to start things off. Yeah, but. Okay, former number one overall pick. Being young and being a catcher and trying to hit the ball could be pretty difficult. And there you go. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That was 2022 Panini Immaculate Baseball. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. There's more in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I would love to do some more baseball with you next time. Rest in peace, Maury Wills, Dodger, a legend. Go Dodgers, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.